All right, first test of the coolant system. Here's QualiCool 355D as uh, suggested by the manufacturer. So the bucket there, we're gonna try the manual pump. So that turns it on and that gives it some power. There we go. Whoa, that's 30 PSI. It's looking pretty good. Let me see from the top. My question is, where are the leaks? So I'm gonna be searching for the leaks. So far, so good. I'm gonna run it a little bit, to see what happens. But that seems like a pretty healthy, healthy flow for what we're trying to do. Milling aluminum. Guys, I think I wanted to show you this because you're all probably gonna have the same uh, same leak. Now my machine is sealed very well. I found out it's not leaking anywhere except from up here. And I was talking to Jeff uh, uh, yesterday and he had a leak from here too. So what's happening here, once you put this hose over this square tubing, there's space here, space there and space underneath. And the water, at least at high flow, kind of comes back here and for me, was coming under here dripping down and all the way there so all I did is I took this off and I squirted a silicone it's still fresh it's here there and underneath again from from this direction after taking this off and I shove this back in and I'm gonna show you it doesn't seem to be leaking anymore turn the flow full blast should be seeing some water coming up here soon there you go. Starting to come. So you got a pretty healthy flow, but I don't get any more water coming out of here. And again, to come out of here, it was coming out to the sides here, going all the way out there, and then coming on the outside of the hose down. So that so far is the only, I crushed my finger, only leak I found. Uh, easy fix, but you're probably gonna have the same kind of leak because we all have the this square tubing right there and hope that helps anyone bye